In this video, I'm going to talk about website content and how we can ensure that it is accessible and as readable as possible for all of our visitors. So I'm going to start with some pretty common sense basics, but some that often get missed or not necessarily tackled in the right way. So first of all is typography. So text size, according to the BBC, should be a minimum of 13 pixels in height. Now, I personally think this is a bit small. We tend to go higher than that. Obviously, if you have a vision impairment, you can zoom in on the browser there, but we tend to find that, you know, 16, 17 um, size, 16, 17 pixel size in fonts is a reasonably good way to go. We also make sure that the text contrasts with the background nicely. So a very, very dark grey or even a black on a white is an accessible and reasonable, re readable way to go. So we wouldn't ever use like a, a, a you know a yellow on a white background or something like that that's, that's quite hard to read. So it's just kind of keeping those things in mind when we put our websites together. I and mean, as we continue to develop it, we don't fall into the trap of using really small fonts or using colours that kind of make it hard to read. Another one is line length. Particularly on the web, it's very easy to create you know, lines of content that go on for, for ages. And really what we should be doing is looking at around 50 or 60 characters. That's about 12 or 13 words per line. And the reason for this is that it makes it easier for the reader to read. If they go, you know, straight down to the next line, short, snappy lines of text rather than long, lengthy lines of text, which makes it more difficult to know where the next line begins when, the, when your eye goes back to it. So short lines of text is a best practice. Another one is content hierarchy. So ensuring that headings and subheadings are very distinct from the actual body copy itself. So this is good if people are just browsing the page very quickly in their skim reading. They can um, identify headings and subheadings and content in that way without having to stop and necessarily work out where one piece of text begins and another piece ends. And finally, keeping on top of all this. So once we put together a new website, it's usually in a really good ship shape condition. We put it out there on the web and then over time, the content kind of gets, it degrades a little bit as people don't necessarily keep on top of it. So having a bit of a housekeeping strategy is a good way to make sure that your content remains, you know, readable and accessible. So audit your content on a monthly basis, a quarterly basis. Look for maybe old pages that could be updated or old blog posts which are no longer relevant. I mean, you might even be able to just get rid of some old stuff. FAQ pages, for example, could they be expanded? Does, does, does your content answer the questions that your visitors have? Do you have old phone numbers on there, old email addresses? All these kind of things that you can update over time to make sure that the information there is still relevant and accessible to your visitors. So those are my tips. It's very easy to do. Just spend a bit of time every month or every few months going through things and keeping on top of it. And that way you'll make sure that you'll be giving your visitors the best possible experience.